Question number 23 from the non-calculator section involves the substitution of u equals x plus 1. And we need to rewrite this integral in terms of u. So the first thing we want to do is recognize that we could substitute the x plus 1 with u, but we also need to substitute for x and dx. So when I differentiate u, I get du equals dx, which is a nice easy substitution. du changes with dx. However, with the x, we're going to have to use the substitution u equals x plus 1, and then recognize that we have to rearrange this expression for x. So we end up with x is equal to u minus 1. So once we have those parts, we can do the substitution. So our new integral is going to look like this, u minus 1 in the numerator, square root u in the denominator, and then we can just replace the dx with a du, and we can simplify this expression. u divided by root u is square root u, minus 1 divided by root u is going to be u to the negative 1 half. And looking at the answers here, we should rewrite this one here as u to the positive 1 half. And then we have our du. So looking at the options here, the answer is c. Question number 24, we're looking at uh, finding where we have a re removable discontinuity. And basically that means where is the hole in this graph? Okay, so we're looking for the hole. So we need to factor. When we're factoring, make sure you always factor, the, try to factor at least, the GCF. So the greatest common factor. Otherwise, you're going to be factoring this as a quadratic with a leading coefficient of 2, which is unnecessary. So factoring this, we're going to end up with 2 bracket x squared minus or plus 7x minus 8. And in the denominator, we end up with x minus 8 x minus 1. Okay, continuing this factory, we can see that there's going to be some common factors which will cancel out, and that's going to be our removable discontinuity. So we end up with, it has to be plus 8 because we get plus 7, and then x minus 1, and there's our removable discontinuity. So we end up with x minus 8. That happens to be a vertical asymptote. And a removable discontinuity is the factor that cancels out. Okay, so this gives us a whole. So look, the answer is 1 only. Okay. 